Looking for Madden Ultimate Team Coins? Buy NFL Coins has the cheapest and most reliable coins on the MUT22 market. Click the link in the description of the video and be sure to use coupon code SPORTS for 5% off your order. YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Duke back here from SportsGamers.com. And I'm super excited for today's Madden 22 video. We got something very special for you guys. I'm about to break down the best glitch play in the entire game right now. This is something all the pros are running that is super hard to stop. And it, it's something you have to add into your offense. Especially if you like to run Gun Bunch, which tons of people love Gun Bunch, as you guys know. So, this Gun Bunch, most of the pros right now are using this from the Seahawks playbook. And the reason for this is Seahawks playbook just has so many plays. Um, you know, but the combo, I would say the bunch trail and the clear out is really what sets it over the top. Um, I personally love Seattle playbook for not only its bunch, but I mean it has bunch tied in two trips, empty. Just a lot of great, great options. Now, you guys know that right now on defense, still what most people are playing is this 245 odd pinch to cover two base blitz. And Gun Bunch has just so many ways to kill it, but I want to show you guys two specific ways you can do it from the play clear out um, that is just gonna absolutely kill not only pinch two, but any cover two defense out there. For one play touchdowns. And this is going to be something that's very, very easy to do. But it's going to be so hard to stop on defense. So when running this gun bunch, you always want to have a fast receiver. As um, whoever your outside receiver is in the bunch. I mean, really all the positions. But definitely whoever your outside receiver is in the bunch for sure. And that's what we're going to make to do, make sure to do here. We're putting Devontae Adams over there. Um, these are going to be some big throws downfield. So we do need a quarterback that's a strong arm. Well, we just need him to have high throw power and a decent release. The play we're going to look at, like I said, is the clear out, SE out, gun, bunch. And we're going to break this down against pinch two. Now, guys, before we get further into the video, I do want to remind you, I do free Madden 22 tips, gameplays, and news on my YouTube channel pretty much on a daily basis. So if you do enjoy this content, make sure you su subscribe to my channel. And if you really rock with me, smash that like button and comment on the video. All that stuff helps me out a ton as a content creator. So we're going to move the ball back. And guys, you know that Gun Bunch, you really do want to run to the um, wide side of the field. But what most people do is they come out with it on the short side, make their adjustments, and then flip their bunch to the wide side so that it kind of makes the defense's adjustments a lot harder because when you do that, say I just make a, I mean, I'm just going to make some random hot routes here, but whatever hot routes I make, you know, and I, I make them and then I, I'm, I feel like I'm ready to hike the ball, but I actually just want to flip to get my adjustments on the other side. Well, now the defense, they have to flip with me, but I can hike the ball before they can even do anything. And that's what makes this so annoying is that you're put in an event, a disadvantage, I should say on defense by the fact that the offense can come out with their gun bunch on the short side, do their adjustments, and have it ready to go when they flip it to the wide side. Meanwhile, you can't really do that on defense. So what happens a lot of times is that people almost assume when they're on defense that when you come out of gun bunch on the short side, you're just making your adjustments and flipping it to the wide side. But what I'm about to show you with this bomb, or I got a few different bombs really from this play, you can actually come out and bomb on the short side so that they can't just assume that, which is what makes this gun bunch offense so, so difficult. Now, before I show you the bombs, I do want to remind you guys, I do have premium tips for Madden 22 and eBooks available on sportsgamers.com. That's my strategy site where I publish all my Madden 22 tips in the Madden Vault weekly tips, eBooks, offensive and defensive strategies and schemes, game plans for both current and next gen. If you like my YouTube content, you will love my content on sportsgamers.com. We got links in the description and the comments. It's much more advanced premium content over there. We go in great detail. And this is actually a little sample of something that I posted recently for my premium members. Uh, that, like, like I said, this is content that the pros are using and abusing. So let's just get straight into it. 
So one of the more simple ways to do this is just simply to go ahead and put your receiver in the slot on a whip route. I really like whip routes because they're very hard to stop um, this year. They get open in a lot of different areas and it's just a nice little check down that you can use on this play to go along with the post. But really what's going to end up happening here, as you guys are going to see, is the tight end that runs the post, he's kind of going to draw the safety to pay attention to him. And as soon as you see that, you can bomb this over the top. Now, unfortunately for the Packers, we don't have any super fast receiver. Like you can see, like Adams is really good, but his speed is, is, is not that great. It's 91. So we don't really have anyone that can run away from the defense. But you guys can see here that if I had a fat, like first of all, look, look at how when the safety sees my tight end cut on the post, how he breaks to the inside and gives up the outside. As soon as we see that our safety turns his hips to the inside of the field, just as he does here, I'm about to release this ball. Um, and when I do that, as you guys, I'm just going to zoom in real quick so you can get a better view. As soon as I, first of all, look at how the, first of all, the running back is blocking this blitz perfectly for me over here. So we don't even have to worry about the blitz. We're releasing the ball. Now let's go ahead and look at this from the receiver's point of view. Um, we're able to lead it, we lead it up into the sideline. So like away from the safety and you guys can see we're easily, this is easy separation. This is an easy rack catch. As I wanna do this one or two more times just so you can really see how consistent this truly is. It's not something that just works once or twice. No, this should work every single time. Granted, like I said, if you don't have the fastest receiver in the world, you might not always be able to rack it for a touchdown. I might actually be able to here. As you guys can see, we were able to get a touchdown here. And, you know, that is perfect. But if you don't have the fastest receiver, sometimes you'll just get a big play and the safety might be able to tackle you from behind. All right, guys, I want to do this against just any cover two, just to show you guys it works against any cover two and not just the pinch two. So this is just three through five wide. And once again, all I'm going to do is whip out the slot receiver. Now, before I show it to you one last time, I just want to let you guys know, this is like some pretty unique, exclusive content. To be able to bomb cover two like this on the short side is, is not easy to do. There's only very few plays in the game that can do this. So this is why this play is so crucial and why a lot of the pros are just using it and abusing it left and right. As you guys can see, another big play here. But as I mentioned, sometimes if you don't have the fastest receiver, you won't be able to get a touchdown out of it. So guys, I'm about to show you how you can bomb from clear out against cover two on the wide side and not just the short side. Let's say the defense starts to get smart and keen and sees that you like the bomb on the short side and pays attention to it. Well, at that case, let's let's trick them. We can flip our bunch, so now it's on the wide side. And all I'm going to do here, same setup with one adjustment. I still whip out the slot receiver, but the last thing I do is I like to, on the wide side, motion Lazar, send him like two to three steps of motion and snap the ball. What's going to happen is he's going to run right by that corner and we're going to have a big play because once again, the, the safety has to kind of stay in the middle of the field to watch for our tight end on the post. So he can't really get out there to guard this fade. So literally all I do when I send him in motion two to three steps, I snap the ball. I just wait for that him to run right by that, that corner and we're going to have a huge play, most likely a touchdown with the motion. So honestly, when you do it on the wide side, you, you generally have more room to work with to be able to get that rack for a touchdown. Now, what's going to happen here, guys, is, you know, depending upon the zone drop setting of their, their, their flats, the corner might run with you for a bit. Like you guys can see here, he ran with us about to the 35, but... The thing here is if you see that and maybe they have it set crazy to like 30 or something, you know he's still going to get open. You just have to wait longer. And you guys can see it's a bomb and the safety's in the middle of the field. We got a great animation there. We got we are able to get a touchdown. But going back to what I was explaining is if they have it set super deep or maybe the heat's coming so you just can't wait for the, this to get open, this is why you have the whip route because the whip route will be a great check down. And I'm actually going to show you that here. So like let's say that you know, they, they just have it set up to where I cannot wait for this bomb to get open. I don't know what their zone drops are, but all I know is either the pressure is coming or they're just set so deep I just don't have the time. Simply dump it down and you're going to get about a 10-yard gain, maybe even more. That is the key to this play. You don't have to wait for the bomb. If they're going to blitz you and you don't have time, the whip route is a perfect alternative. Again, take a look. I mean, I'm just throwing it into the flat, turning up field. And this time, I mean, I get about 15-ish yards. 
Now, the great thing about this play is, you know, if they're going to blitz you and also try to take away the whip route, let's say that they just put this guy in a hard flat over here to try to take that away, and then they have maybe, you know, the guy on the outside playing your bomb that you don't have time for, guys, remember, you still have the tight end running a post route right down the middle, and you can throw that on the money there, and that's another read you have. You, I mean, also can just send the running back alternatively out of the backfield if you even want another quicker read. Though, keep in mind, if you do this, obviously you're not going to have enough time to do the bomb if they end up blitzing you. But maybe if they're just playing a regular cover two defense and they're not actually blitzing anybody, you could still have the bomb and then another quick read out of the backfield to the running back. It's just a matter of, you know taking what's there just because we have the bomb we don't want to just hold on to the ball waiting for the bomb every play and get sacked and you know if pressure's in our face and we know we don't have time for the bomb we do have checkdowns on this play so yes the bomb is great but don't take sacks waiting for it if you don't have the time check down you'll put yourself in much better positions anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this tip make sure to smash that like button i'll see y'all next time